All right, now 20 minutes later, we're at just under 400 degrees, but the thermometer tip is sitting right on top of the lead. <clears throat> so, we're going to show you, we have some weepage of the lead coming out of the bullets, bullet jackets. I can't show you. This is a lot better than 38 minutes later. We're going to get there. It might, might help. We've already got a puzzle established. I tell you what, if you come over here and look. fast about this. You can see the puddle that we have established. Now, we'll just keep working these around. This is the way it should be. Get all those uh, full bullet jackets that are uh, full of lead down on the bottom. Keep working them. You can see some of these were powder coat. See the powder coat, how that comes off? Don't be afraid to remelt your bullets when you're powder coating. blue ones and there's some green ones are uh, bullets that we have uh, we've casted and then we powder coated them all right now what we're going to do here is we're going to try from yesterday the strainer ladle that we left in the pot Should have uh, preheated the strainer. You gotta preheat your equipment. You're always gonna see me struggling with things, but I'm not going to lie to you. You're gonna see me pioneering things. your strainer preheat well, I forgot to do that <clears throat> I tell you what this will work but my tolerances my tolerances are too dog gone close this will work, but I'm doing a lot of uh, ratcheting around and such. Let's not do this. Let's try this other thing that Mary Sue did. Alright? Alright now. We'll put it in here. And we'll get this thing preheated. You gotta get it preheated, otherwise the lead will freeze to your tool. 
You don't want that. Lay it in there. Put your lid on there. Let it heat up a little bit. Check our temperature. All right, we're climbing. degrees right now. And climbing. I told you yesterday about uh, zinc bullets. Occasionally, uh, you'll run across them, and <clears throat> back in 1958, we were doing zinc bullets, and Lyman sold bullet bolts for zinc bullets. And <clears throat> if that's all you have is zinc, why go with it? Yeah, it's a little bit harder. It'll make a mess with your land. Either way you go, zinc and land, why, uh, it's not a good deal. All right, now we're f up to 580. Let's pull this out. I'm going to have to have a little gloves on here. I'll pull this lid off. Put it here. Jackets. Work around here like this. And not dipping out just a few at a time with a tool like this or the, the Walmart tool. Just keep them moving. You, know, you still got some heat in here. Keep them moving. Get, get them all emptied out. I like the way these are cleaning out. Where before, I always had little stringers hanging out the back of the bullet, or, and you have this tendency to, you know, pull them off later. Well, with this, you can see, like, I don't want to get too cold here, but you can see how clean these are. except whenever I uh, put them in my melting pot because I've got the lid cleaned up. We wash our bullets before we do it. 
in here that have the old lube on them. You know, you're already fluxed, so put a little bit of sawdust on there. Or you saw us yesterday, you know, pencil sharpener, a little bit of graphite and such. keep you moving. Now, <clears throat> if you'll come over here and see how clean we have this, because I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be here all day and showing you and boring you with what we're doing here. But in like 25 minutes, we had a we have a pour ready. We're still cleaning it up and <clears throat> there's very little lead that is left behind. I've never had them so clean as I have had now doing this this way. Now we got some crud and uh, oh, uh, let's see here. I'll just put the Dutch on. We're not going to have that anymore. 